Alright guys, we're in kind of a pickle here. We're currently outside of Tokyo, about an hour drive outside of the city. Now we're here at Dream Auto and uh, we didn't really anticipate this, but they aren't allowing us to film inside, but we're at a dealership, I think, or some sort of museum called Dream Auto. They got quite the selection of vehicles. We got the Mercy Lago SV and quite the collection of uh, model cars in the background. Check out this color right over here. We got the Gallardo right over there. We got the F430. We got a white Dino in the back over there. Check out the color on the blue Diablo. Man, there is a lot of cool stuff. And of course, the white Mercy Lago SV. But they have an XJR15 LM right over here with a roof scoop. Not the same one that we all saw about a week ago at the New Year's meet. Still got the plastic on the front splitter right there. Got an F50. And we got a Porsche Carrera GT. There it is, guys. That's all you're gonna get. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Although we did not have any luck at Dream Auto, we're here at the Secret Car Museum here at the old Toshigi Station. I'm probably butchering that name. This used to be the old train station and then it was decommissioned. So then they had to find a new owner who owns a supercar collection and decided to rent this out or either buy it and has placed his entire collection right over yonder. And there's a interesting colored KN GTS owner has graciously allowed the public to view at a nominal fee of 800 yen right through here don't worry i already paid the entrance fee i'm just gonna walk through here and little do i know that it's kind of an outdoorsy uh display here now the condition of the cars are coming into question immediately i'm gonna hop on down here Got the Daytona 365, ooh, 2000 GT. All right, guys, going to do a quick walkthrough of all the cars here. They're all owned by one person. I'm going to start with the Dino 246 GT. Now, check this out. The orange peel on the rear here. It's a little bit hard to see. The condition of this paint needs some work. I can't, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's definitely orange peel on the rear here. I'm going to move on over here. We got the DV7 Vantage. XJS. Now we're going to talk about this sucker right here, the XJR15. Pretty sick, and look at that. Oi. But there's a lot of swore marks on the hood as well. Not the biggest issue because that's easily correctable. And of course, the headlights are a little bit yellowish. I think a lot of these cars are on the original tires as well. But, man, that is pretty cool. So we've seen three XJR15s during this entirety of this Jap Japanese trip. But, man, I had no idea that this area was an open air display. I thought it was like an enclosed museum type of deal going on here. So the cars are exposed to the elements a little bit. But, it is neither here or there. That's all good. But yeah, there you guys have it, XJR15. What exactly are we looking here, guys? Because there's no disinformation uh, plaque. A turbo 964? No, 930. A nine, so it went from a black one to an ugly one to a 964 to a 930. That's so it's a black 930 Turbo Koenig Special. Send a picture to Marcus. We have to ask Marcus, the Porsche specialist, because none of us are able to identify this thing got the Koenig special badge and the paint unfortunately is deteriorating here I think I mentioned earlier that this place used to be an old train station converted into a uh, supercar storage facility let's see if we can hop in, in here let's see if anyone's in all right oh it's quite cozy in here hold on Oh, sick. You gotta take your shoes off here, guys. Sorry. All right, as you're doing for the vlog, going on. My feet won't fit in these, these slippers, but it's okay. Whoa. This is cool. You have a little powwow in here. This is nice. We got two Lamborghini mirrors, one in orange and one in yellow. Pretty nice. These seem to be in pretty good condition. This yellow one seems to be in pristine condition. Look at the interior. There you go. Much better. Much better. And of course, we got the Countach right over here. All these cars actually are on original tires. That is nuts. Lancia Delta Integrale Evo 
two. Of course, we've got all three Maseratis lined up right here. We've got the Mestral, Marak SS, and the Bora. We've got the Porsche 959 from 1985. And we've got a little, uh, oh, let's see where it is. There it is. The paint is cracking just a bit, but it seems to be in pretty mint condition otherwise. Now, for anyone who corrects paint, or works on cars, let me know in the comments below what happens when a paint job cracks like that right over here. One more little close up, let's see. We got the BMW M1 from 79 in white. That's actually pretty cool. Of course, you got the Lotus Europa Special. And of course, the classic American, I like how they spell Chevrolet without the T at the end, but that's okay. 1958 Corvette with a drop top. Look at that in pink. And the interior is impeccable, actually. That is amazing. These things are sick in pink. The white walls need a bit of a washing, but that's okay. And we think this Dino has been resprayed either the entire body or at least the rear of it because it's got some orange peel in the rear and some splotches. You can sort of see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Let me get a different angle. Right over here, there's a few splotches right there. Has some orange peeling, so, hmm. Got the Acura NSX right over there. Fair Lady Z, GTR, and of course, I forgot to film these two cars right here. 350 GT and the Ferrari 512 BB. There you guys have it, the full collection in its entirety. Now, if you had to choose one car to take home, which one would it be? out of all these cars here you've seen today. Either the EB110 for me or the XJR15, but the Mira in orange with the gold wheels is a top contender. Unfortunately, it is not an SV variant, but that's okay. There you guys have it. You guys wanna visit this eclectic and cute little collection of supercars. Here's all the information you will ever need on this brochure. Wait for it to focus. There it is. That's it guys, we're gonna have lunch, bye. All right, guys, we're back better than ever, back in Los Angeles, and we got the Terzo Millennial 143 scale by Look Smart. MSRP is around 200 bucks or 175. It's pretty expensive, and of course, we got the YouTube Random Comment Picker website right over here. I promised you guys I was gonna do the giveaway. I never announced the winner, so we're gonna do it right now. I've entered the URL. We're gonna get the uh, comments and the usernames, and we're gonna press this button right over here to make sure there's no duplicate users, no spam, no nonsense. But while we're waiting for that to kind of like figure out how many comments and unique usernames have entered the giveaway, I'm gonna discuss a couple of the pick-me-ups that we got in Japan a couple of weeks ago, and we're gonna open up the plexiglass case as such. We got the MR Collection 118 scale event door SV. I think it is limited to I can't remember. It's a limited, everything is a limited edition now, even with real cars. But you guys are wondering, why do you have a white Aventador SV, Gordon? Aren't you the one that always told us that, always get something unique, get a different color, get something that stands out because obviously you're in Los Angeles. If you buy the real car, you don't wanna have something that everyone else has. Well, I'll tell you why. I got this at a really good price because it was a used model. So, of course, I had to pick it up and you know, it was a deal that I could not refuse. My second pick me up right over here is the 118 scale by AutoArt, it's a die cast model. So this is a resin model, nothing opens up. The die cast models don't come with like a stand and a, a plexiglass case, but it does come with a certificate of authenticity right over here. All right, the site has collected and aggregated around 1,302 unique commenters. We're gonna go to step number two. We're gonna press the start button right over here and select our random winner for the 143 scale Terzo Millennio. We got, let's see, we got Agent Smith. His comment is, I want to see Officer Pena get pulled over in 2019. What a fitting comment to end the first giveaway. So there you guys have it. Agent Smith with a seven at the end. You got to send me an email. I'll link it in the description below, uncompromising at gmail.com. You are the winner of the 143 scale Terzo Millennial. Now I will be giving away a second 143 scale. I promised you guys this back in, uh, I think December or January, I can't really remember. I will announce the giveaway rules relatively shortly in the next couple of videos. I don't really know when, but stay tuned guys. 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and all the Japan content. I'll probably do a uh, update on my 118 scale model collection relatively soon. So we got the Aventador SV and the pink Aventador Coupe over there. But that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned, lots to come. And stay tuned for the next giveaway. I think this is uh, MSRP at around 200 or 220. I can't really remember, but there you guys have it. What other channel is giving away cool stuff like this? No nonsense, no BS. There it is, guys. So enjoy.